you move to Campbell River? Today, we're talking about three pros and three cons of living in Campbell River. Hey, this is Judith Renati, local real estate agent in Campbell River, BC on Vancouver Island. I get calls, emails, and texts all the time about people thinking of moving to Campbell River, and I love helping them out. If that is you, one, make sure you subscribe to this channel to learn everything about Campbell River, where to fish, walk, hike, where the restaurants are, shopping, everything you need to know. And two, call, text, email, whatever you have to do if you're thinking about moving to Campbell River. I love helping people do that. I want to be your boots on the ground. First pro, location. Campbell River is a small town of about 35,000 people, located three hours north of Victoria and an hour and a half from Nanaimo. The town is located right on the ocean. More specifically, the Salish Sea, with beautiful views of the Discovery Passage and the mountains. There's amazing hiking and biking trails in the city and close by, parks and provincial parks, and about 45 minutes from town is Mount Washington with great skiing. Did I mention that Campbell River is the salmon capital of the world? First con, location. Campbell River, River is on an island, and sometimes it is hard to get off the island if you want to travel especially internationally. Campbell River has a small airport with flights to Victoria, Vancouver, and other regional cities. But for most flights, you need to go to Comox, a 45 minute ride. Comox has an international airport, but most connections suck from there. So if you're looking for great travel deals, you might not find them there. You can take the ferry to Vancouver, but it is time consuming and expensive if you add a hotel for the night. Second pro, weather. The weather in Campbell River is mild to moderate, with four beautiful seasons. Not too hot in the summer and not too cold in the winter, with hardly any snow. Even if it snows, it usually melts in a couple of hours. Spring flowers start in February and the summers are nice and long. Second con, weather. You guessed it right. We get a lot of rain here, even in the driest months. In a year, the rainfall is 2,064 millimeters, over two meters or 81.3 inches. What I found when I moved here from Ontario, when it rains here, people are still looking, uh, still going about their lives, continuing to do outdoor activities compared to Ontario, where we tend to stay at home when it rains. I now own about 10 raincoats for any occasions you can imagine. Third pro, people. Campbell River has the friendliest people I have ever met, something you would expect in a small town. We have quite a vibrant art community here, so you might get a little bit of funkiness too. When I moved here from Ontario, it didn't take long to make friends. Third con, Wi-Fi and cell service. While we have great Wi-Fi and cell service in all areas of Campbell River, when you hit the road, especially if you're traveling north, there's no service between towns. If you're traveling south, it is much better, but there are still shady spots on the highway. It is not a huge deal as long as you know what to expect. So that's it, three cons and three pros about Campbell River. I hope you find them helpful. I will continue next week with more information about Campbell River. So is Campbell River a good place to live? Named one of the top five quality of life destinations in North America by Foreign Direct Investment Magazine. Campbell River offers a balanced lifestyle surrounded by nature. I sure am glad I moved here six years ago. So again, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos that I will be uploading about Campbell River. If you have any comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below. If you need help buying or selling real estate, I would love to be a resource for you. If you need help with that, my contact information is below. Have a fantastic day.